Good morning to all of you. Welcome to Legal Matters by Sai Babu Sankara. <clears throat> In Tamil Nadu, almost uh, a war is going between the bureaucracy and the governorship. When Rajiv Gandhi, the late Prime Minister of India, was alive, there was a tussle between the President and the Prime Minister. He visited Vishakapatnam and the journalist questioned him about his differences with uh, the President of India, the then late Jarnay Jailson. Then he said, Some presidents have problems with Prime Ministers, but we have to sort them. Same is the case now. The governor is not having good relations with Tamil Nadu government. Of course, we, I am not competent to comment uh, whether the relations are good or bad. Let us come to straight to our topic. Recently, the Honorable Governor of Tamil Nadu, Sri R.N. Ravi, who is an IPS officer, he dismissed Mr. Senthil Balaji, who was recently last, who was recently arrested by the Enforcement Directorate in a Prevention of Money Laundering Act case. Of course, at the time also there was a lot of commotion in Tamil Nadu state. He was admitted to the hospital. Coronary bypass surgery was done to him. It's a different part. But as far as the arrest is concerned, after the arrest, now, what is happening is, the Honorable Governor of Tamil Nadu, he dismissed Senthil Balaji as minister. Of course, luckily, I think I came to know that uh, the orders have been deferred because they wanted to take the aid advice of the so-called Attorney General or based on the recommendation of Amisha, I think uh, it is kept in cold abeyance. But whatever it is, it has come in the press that the Governor dismissed Mr. Senthil Balaji from the Council of Ministers. It happened on 29th June 2023 evening. A message or a note has come from the Governor's bungalow in an unprecedented action stating that Senthil Balaji is dismissed from the Council of Ministers because so I will read out the text of the Governor's message. There are reasonable apprehensions <coughs> that the continuation of Sri Senthil Balaji, Thiru Senthil Balaji it adversely impact the due process of law. Beautiful words. Due process of law. The continuation will affect the due process of law, including the fair investigation. Ultimately, if the uh, so-called is if the fair, include, if the investigation is uh, affected, definitely eventually it will lead to the breakdown of the constitutional machinery in the state. So therefore, the dismissal will come into immediate effect. This is the note from the Honorable Governor of Tamil Nadu. But immediately there was a retort from the Chief Minister, Mr. M. K. Stalin. He says, we are not going to oblige the unconstitutional directives given by the Governor. Here he discussed, of course, as uh, law students, we have to know also. What does Article 164 say? Article 164 says the governor can appoint a minister on the advice of the chief minister or leader of the part on the advice. Of but there is no process written down, noted down regarding the dismissal of the minister. Of course, you know, as per Article 360 of the Constitution of India, the governor, president of India, they have got so many powers. Whatever it is, CM says, Governor does not have authority to dismiss a lawyer, uh, sorry, a minister, as per Article 164, right? So you all know, Sintil Balaji was arrested last month and he was hospitalized. Government, uh, actually, at the time itself, uh, uh, government wanted to, uh, government means the governor wanted to drop him because a lot of coming. When he was the AIDMK minister, these incidents happened. That is a cash for job scam. And even the Supreme Court has opened the decks. Otherwise, uh, the ED could not have proceeded. 
after the supreme court gave clearance then only they have arrested him they have put him in of course he has uh, he is now undergoing surgery i think uh, he has undergone very recently surgery right so immediately some two petitions were filed the public interest litigations are filed under article 226 of the constitution of india but the chief justice of madras high court sri gangapur wala he wondered whether when the governor passed the orders how can the high court interfere governor is not happy he wanted to drop him from the council of ministers so in this circumstance how can high court uh, interfere normally right now <coughs> cm retorted cm now wrote a letter to the governor his communication is void ab initio the communication of the governor is void ab initio as uh, without the advice of the chief minister you cannot uh, appoint him you cannot uh, no they wanted his continuance as minister without portfolio the wording of the cm is also good we have always been pleasant courteous and respectful towards you but we need not abide by the unconstitutional directives let us see what will happen whether sentil balaj will be continued as the minister or whether he will be dismissed as per the directives of the directives of the governor it is a million dollar question anyway with a non week or so everything will be cleared and i will come back to you if necessary with this i am concluding thank you very much